I'm Suze Wolf, and I have been making a series of artist books about the impact of bark beetles on forests. A lifelong outdoor person, my artwork is primarily about nature. In my own Pacific Northwest, I've been watching glaciers shrink and burned over forest increase. So I've been making artwork to express my anxiety about the climate change I see in my favorite places. All over the West, I've seen wood and bark that looks scribbled on. The doodling is the channels that beetle larvae chew, called larval mines or galleries. They interrupt the flow of nutrients up and down the tree. This book is about the mutually beneficial relationship between some bark beetles and the fungi they transport as they fly from tree to tree. The fungi's microfilaments burrow into the wood searching for nutrients. They transfer phosphorus and nitrogen back outward toward the surface of the tree. Without them, mountain pine and fine fir engraver beetle larvae could not digest the wood. The mountain pine beetle fungi leave a bluish stain in the wood, the fir engraver fungi a gray stain. I learned about this adaptive strategy from studies by Dr. Diana Six of the University of Montana. Obligate Mutualism is a unique artist book. It's made from a split branch as the spine. It's probably from a fir tree. It has beetle galleries chewed into it. The covers are wood sandwiches of laser cut wood glued to panels. The pages are iron oxide dyed wool felt with embroidery floss stitching and wax linen thread for the bindings. I used industrial felt as end papers glued over the binding threads. I drilled holes through the split branch for the binding threads and knotted them on either side of the spine for stability. The covers show the patterns of two bark beetle species, mountain pine beetle on the front and fur engraver on the back. This video shows me starting some of the embroidery on obligate mutualism. The book is called that because the beetles and the fungi both depend on each other.